Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Hallelujah. Psalm 72 Give the King your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the King's Son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May his fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Christian writings taken from the Revelation to John. A great potent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs, in the agony of giving birth. Then another potent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his head. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven, and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child, so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child who was to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne, and the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she may she can be nourished for 1,260 days. A war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. 
but they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn. Bring in the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.